Hey guys, this is how it's done. I just resold my four bedroom, two bath with the help of my little brother, Joel Harden. I'll see y'all later. And uh, I finally sold my four bedroom, two bath on yesterday. That's the one I spent $3,000 on. Um, I had a lot of roadblocks with this home, but um, the journey was uphill, but I'm glad the journey is over. However, today, which I already knew, we're, we're going to put central air, um, but the central air is going to be paid uh, for by the uh, new owner. Uh, so I'm waiting for the new owner to bring me a check right now um, of $7,000. So um, I'm going to turn this camera around. As you can see, it's the green home there. We have the air conditioned people uh, here. Uh, so the new owners plan to move in on Saturday. This air condition should take, uh, maybe six, seven hours to, to, to place. I got my new roof there that I wasn't anticipating. Uh, just every once in a while, there was like a bump in the road with this particular house. Uh, but it did turn out very, very nice. Um, I had several people interested in the home, uh, wind up, uh, going with a family of seven this home is a four bedroom two bath with over a thousand sixty four square feet so hi guys this is kelly um just let you know what's going on um um some of you might know that i had to repossess a home today it is it was an experience um i'm not upset about it by no means um this home was a four bedroom two bath and all i could do is uh Pray for my tenants and hope everything turns out well. I'm not going to get into all of the details. So that's a wrap. Finished signing all the paperwork and um, got a four bedroom, two bath out here. The asking price was uh, 8000 and I got them down to 3000 This is over a thousand plus square feet. As you can see, my brother, my road dog. Uh, getting the uh, lock all together. All right, guys. Uh, if you're hesitating about uh, being in this business, don't hesitate. The money is here. But um, I guess they're going through a divorce, and um, I just let them out of their contract. Um, the whole situation, the whole scenario was uh, pretty bad. They pretty much left my home in the shape that, uh, that I gave it to them. Um, they left it pretty much the same. However, <laughs> the reason why I'm at a loss of words, I'm going to show you guys, um, I'm going to flip this camera around. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys could see this good, but um they actually sold my stove and refrigerator and they rigged up this thing and uh, as you can see they don't even have an oven and the cabinetry they took that out and put it over here for some reason uh, so they were in here for about four months um they did um leave me some ceiling fans a little bit on the low side i mean I'm only 5'4", so, I mean, uh, they're new ceiling fans. Um, so it's just a little touch-up paint and stuff that I have to do, but this baby is definitely back on the market. This is a full bedroom, too bad. And um, what I'm going to do with the stove and refrigerator, um, I'm probably going to take this out. I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm probably going to take this stove out. And I'm just going to wait for a new buyer and I'll, I'll see if the new buyer wants to um, put in their own stove and refrigerator. And if not, then I will go ahead and, and purchase another one. Um, the, the sad part about this whole ordeal is um, they were under the impression that they should get their deposit back. Shut up. And, um, I actually, they actually called the state on me. Uh, I wasn't worried about it. Um, and I pretty much talked to the state and I told them they weren't renting this home. They were actually purchasing this mobile home. Uh, and so after about a whole day, the state finally realized that um, they were in the wrong. And um, I really did have to let them out of their contract, but I, but I did. I was gracious enough to do that. I mean, I'm blessed. 
you know, what can I do? I still, I got my mobile home back, four bedroom, two bath. That's not gonna last very long. And I feel like I'm blessed and I, and I hope that they, um, that they continue on being blessed. I mean, they had a serious uh, family tragedy that I'm not gonna even talk about here on this platform. It's very sad. That's the reason why I let them out of their contract. But um, it, it is what it is. Um, and um, this this is gonna go fast. That, I, I'm not even concerned about all that. Um, I'm glad we were able um, to leave um, as friends, you know, I believe I could call on her if I needed something and, uh, and she's able to do the same with me. Um, I don't have a relationship at all with the husband. Um, I don't want to tell anybody's husband, but, um, that guy was a piece of work and, um, and I'm hoping that, um, she strays away from him. Um, so the, the house is uh, pretty much, there's just a couple of little minor areas, but uh, it, it's going to be a win-win situation. Um, you know, um, I'll probably be out of maybe 300 bucks at the most once I do a little touch-up paint here and there uh, and figure out what I'm going to do with this uh, little gas contraption. Um, and I'm sure uh, I'm going to have to get somebody licensed to deal with this gas, that's for sure. Hey guys, this is how it's done. I just resold my four bedroom, two bath with the help of my little brother, Joel Harden. I'll see y'all later.